Hey everybody, Sarah here. So this is going to be the beginning of the peach video and I've gotten a lot of questions about peach over the last few months, weeks, and uh, I made a video about peach years ago, but uh, I think it was before I had a lot of editing software, so I thought I would at the very least update that for you guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and thank you to all of the members who are helping to support this channel. You guys are awesome. If anybody else would like to become a member, it is, uh, there's two different tiers, one for $2 a month, one for $5 a month. The $2 a month gets you, uh, the emojis, and it gets you the member badges, and of course it also gets you your own video every single week. And then if you go with the tier above that, you also get a chance to name the snakes that I, uh, that I purchase, or ones that I decide to keep, or ones that I'm selling so uh, that's another member perk for those who want a little bit more so uh, if you want to check out all those perks you can click join down below also please remember to check out reptile links I have a, a discount code Sarah snake 27 uh, that you can put in at checkout for a discount it also helps me and it helps you and you get great food for your snakes and also please check out my website sarahsnakeshop.com where I sell corn snakes and corn snake accessories I have a ton of babies for sale right now and Currently, as this is being filmed, I still have a couple of yearlings left, but uh, who knows, that might change any day now. So we're talking about the morph peach. Peach is a hypomelanistic mutation that has recently been proven to be incomplete dominant. So it's going to be very similar to mask kind of in the way that it shows up. So if you uh, understand mask, which I've done a video on that as well, there's a lower expression and a higher expression depending on if there's one copy or two copies of the gene mutation. So obviously one copy of the gene mutation is not going to be quite as high of an expression, but then if you have both copies, then you are going to get a higher expression. And I want to talk about the history and background of peach. Yes, it's a different day. I told you I would record when I could, so it's a few days later. Uh, but I'm going to read basically what's in my book about peach. If you are interested in my books, they're on my website, sarahsnakeshop.com, linked below, of course. Uh, here is the quote. Peach is a form of hypomelanistic that not many people have worked with. It reduces the black into grays or browns, usually browns, uh, and it also seems to enhance a sort of underlying peachy tone in the snakes as well. So peach actually originated in a breeding between a hypoplasma, which is a lavender hypo diffused, breeding to an amber. Rich Zakowski was the one who owned the lavender side and Vinnie Ritchie was the one who owned the caramel side. Now, if you don't know that much about breeding, if you breed a hypomelanistic type A to a hypomelanistic type A, all babies should be hypomelanistic type A. However, in this particular case, that is not what happened. So it was determined that somewhere in these lines, something was not hypomelanistic type A. Turns out it was the lavender line that Rich had and not the uh, caramel line that Vinnie Ritchie had that was used to create this whole thing. And then eventually Rich Hume got a hold of the project and that is where the Hume Mystery Project came from. The offspring from that original breeding were then bred back together eventually. Peachy tones started coming up and a lot of people thought that the peachy tones were uh, caramel coming through. So they thought it was a lavender and caramel combination that was causing the uh, peachy tones in the lavenders, which made sense uh, if you think about, you know, caramels are a yellowy color and then obviously lavenders are purple and so if you uh put a sort of caramely overtone on a lavender it kind of it looks like what a peach lavender would look like so then rich hume actually just started calling this his mystery project and so if you've seen a lot of things titled mystery peach or mystery hypo that's going to be what that means now mystery has been used to uh, describe a lot of things over the years and it's not really used to describe peach anymore uh, but if you see Hume's mystery line, that is the peach line. Since we don't call it the mystery line anymore, since now we know that it's peach. Uh, if you see something titled mystery uh, nowadays, it's probably not going to actually be from the peach line. When other people tried to reproduce the look uh, with their own lavenders and caramels, uh, it turns out lavender and caramel does not make that peachy color. So once again, we had this uh, weird hypotype that was not being caused by 
uh, hypotype A and now we know it's not being caused by caramel so it had to be being caused by something and that's when breeding trials to separate that out finally happened. Cleo's Kingdom Colubrids I know is still doing a lot of work on them and uh, Genetically More Reptiles uh, used to do some work on them. She's the one that provided me with the majority of the information that I have. Cleo's Kingdom is the one who's done a lot of the actual breeding trials so I do have to thank both of them for all of their efforts in all of this. It is still really uncommon and um, you don't see it around very often so if you really like the way that some of these look check out the people that I have listed. I'm going to link their Facebook pages down below or their website websites depending on uh, which is easier maybe their Instagram it kind of depends on what they're most active on so whatever the people I have talked about whatever they're most active on I will link those down below so that you can go check them out as well I hope that that helped answer some questions about peach I know a lot of people have been asking me about this morph lately so I wanted to sort of give you guys like a few photos that you could look at as well as an explanation of sort of the where it came from how it became what it is and became known for what it's known for well, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in a new video soon.